In the 1950s, the U.S. government vehemently denied the existence of flying saucers. They told the public that UFOs were swamp gas. They told them they were weather balloons. They told them they were mass hallucinations. But behind closed doors, the Air Force wasn't just investigating no! flying saucers. They were building one. This isn't a prop from a sci-fi movie. This is the VZ-9 Avercar. It was a top-secret, multi-million dollar military project designed to replace the Jeep, the tank, and the fighter jet with a supersonic disc. There was just one problem. It couldn't fly faster than a bicycle, and it couldn't fly higher than a toddler's head. Welcome to Shadowworks. Last time, we looked at a missile too evil to use. Today, we look at a machine that was just too weird to fly. In the early days of the Cold War, everybody was obsessed with vertical takeoff and landing, VTOL. Runways were vulnerable. If the Soviets nuked the airfields, how would you launch your jets? You needed a plane that could take off from a parking lot. Enter Avro Canada. They were a brilliant aerospace company that had already built the CF-105 Arrow. They came to the Pentagon with a radical idea, the Kowanda effect. If you blow jet exhaust over a curved surface, the air sticks to the curve and creates lift. Avro engineers realized that if you built a circular wing, a saucer, and blew air out of the edges, you could create a cushion of air to hover and then direct that thrust backward to fly at supersonic speeds. The Air Force loved it. They bought the pitch. They wanted a saucer that could fly at Mach 4 and climb to 100,000 feet. They called it Project Silverbug. The design was actually genius dot 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 on paper. The Avercar had three jet engines buried in the fuselage. These engines drove a massive turborotor, basically a giant fan, in the center of the disc. The thrust was ducted out to the rim of the saucer. By controlling little shutters on the edge, the pilot could tilt the saucer to move forward, backward, or sideways. It had no wings to drag it down. It had no tail to break off. It was the perfect aerodynamic shape. The Army wanted it to be a flying jeep that could hop over mud and rivers. The Air Force wanted it to be a stealth fighter. Everyone was ready for the future. Then, they turned it on. The first problem was the heat. Sitting in the cockpit of the Avricar was like sitting inside a convection oven. 